Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at one of the most commonly used and commonly found applications uh, within the Linux uh, environment and that's Pulse Audio. Pulse Audio is the application used to route audio into and out of your system but also to route it around your system as well so it links the audio chain to and from your various system um, applications, uh, audio applications that is, be they recording applications or playback applications. Now Pulse Audio has a bit of a mixed reputation. I personally have had no issues with it whatsoever. Some people however do report it can be temperamental at times in that it doesn't always seem to save settings from one installation or one boot I should say to the next. And that does seem to be somewhat desktop environment dependent. I've not noticed it here on Debian and on Openbox. Uh, some users do. But here we're going to, I'm going to put up a bit of a def defense of Pulse Audio, um, as I say, because I've had no issues with it. But more to the point, this is about an addition you can make to your Pulse Audio installation called Pulse Audio Equalizer. And what that will do is it will allow you to adjust the frequency response and sound balance, sound tonality of audio within your system um, using an on screen software equalizer. Now, some applications have this built in for example here we've got Quadlibet minimized here which is the music player and that does have a plug-in so that you can directly adjust the tonality and frequency response from within the application but some don't and you may want to adjust the overall output from your from your Linux box um, uh, so that it affects all audio coming from the box perhaps not just a single application so it does have its additional uses um, now to get it installed you, I like to do this in the terminal, but um, it's available if you use your GUI software manager. Certainly if you're on anything based on Debian or Ubuntu, then sudo apt install pulse audio hyphen equalizer will get you the application. However, what you'll find is it probably won't start when you attempt to install it because you need to make a small adjustment to the configuration file for pulse audio. Um, and to do that, what we will do is we'll bring up our file manager and you need to go into file system. You need to go into the Etsy folder and you need to bring up Pulse Audio <coughs> and you need the default Pulse Audio configuration file. Now, when you do this to make the adjustments, do it as root because you do need to save this and it is a system file. So we'll need you to save it as root. Now, you want to come down to the bottom of this Check through before you do this to make sure that the two lines we're going to add, which are these two lines at the bottom, are not already listed within the script. If they are, you'll probably find that they're commented out, in which case remove the comments in order to allow Pulse Audio Equalizer to run on boot, on, on startup of Pulse Audio. If you can't find it within the script anywhere, you need to add these two, these two lines here that I've added at the bottom. So if you want to take a note of that, please do and add them to the file, save, either reboot or log in and log out, and it should start to uh, take effect. So having done so, what you will then find is that when you open the Pulse Audio Volume Control, what you'll see is showing up here, you'll see FFT-based equalizer on built-in audio system as one of the options for you to choose as a route for your audio and it's listed alongside the other audio interfaces that you may have connected to your system so in this case obviously built-in audio and Scarlett Solo USB which is the USB device I'm using to record the audio here at the moment. Now in order to start the application uh, we need to run the application. You can all obviously if you wish to do this on a regular basis you can add this to your uh, auto start but um, you may not wish to do so but to actually start the application you need to type the following which is uh, Q -P -A -E -Q. and we run that and that brings up our equalizer and now if we open our music player and we start playing our track Give it some level. We can 
play around with our EQ settings. So at the moment, if I want to make this sound nice and crispy and give it some rasp, I can do so, as you can hear. If I want to make it sound soft and recessed, we can bring those down there. And preamp level at the end here you can adjust as well for gain. Certainly if you use EQ, if you go above the zero line, and the one fault on this is it doesn't have any markings. Certainly, uh, if you add, if you go above the zero line, then you should compensate by taking the gain down slightly to avoid clipping. Um, good thing about this equalizer is that if we expand this, so if we take it, make it larger, the number of bands available increases. It actually subdivides the frequency bandings for us. So if you want really, really fine control over the audio, then you just make the window larger, and uh, as if by magic more bands appear and you can have really fine control over the audio on the system have to reset just hit that when you've made an adjustment so let's just arbitrarily make some adjustments here if you want to save that to preset you come up here so you come up here to the save button give it a name save it and it will then appear up here in your presets to delete it you just hit this and it will remove it permanently channels you can apply it to both so two channels on this system so you can apply it to both or channel one or channel two it's entirely up to you so there we are that's just a very quick overview of the pulse audio equalizer um, it lurks away in the repositories unseen by many eyes you very rarely see this installed on systems i certainly haven't seen it on many i think from memory possibly uh peppermint os has this i think but um and coincidentally that's another open box uh, window manager um just base distribution but uh, i haven't seen it on many others if any so um yeah if you want to apply some overall eq to your system um some it's just available down here within the Pulse Audio Volume Control Mixer. Then do give it a whirl, see how we get on, and um, place uh, any comments you have. Put them in the um, comments section below the video, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye for now.